exciting day for, for our coaching staff, our players, our program. Um, beautiful day, got the sun out. So looking forward to this. As you go through your winter drills, you know, it's, it's been great. We've, we've had a really good offseason uh, so far. But, but, you know, obviously you get a little excited to get out here and actually get to use a football and do all that. So um, guys are chomping at the bit to get out here today. Just a couple injury updates off the top. Um, um, we had some postseason surgeries on the offensive line. So, so Derwin Gray. Um, Terrence Davis will, will both uh, be out for spring. They won't be practicing. Obviously, the two quarterbacks are doing a, doing a great job recovering. They're on track. In fact, a little bit ahead of schedule, but they won't be in any of these uh, spring drills right now. We'll do some stuff with them on the side and everything. Um, on the defensive line, Kieran Howard had postseason surgery. He'll be out of the spring, and so will uh, Brett Kalk. Um, and then in the camp, Spence, another guy that, that had surgery during the season that's still recovering. So those guys will hold out for right now. Um, other than that, we're uh, we're pretty much uh, full strength and ready to go, and, and looking forward to it. So, good questions. Coach, you just love seeing the guy in the bank. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I said a while we could be hired, Matt, and you know, just you now going through it and, and see that I think he's very talented and being able to adapt what he does to the, to the personnel with the strengths of our team. And I think it's exactly what we need because we, we have, I believe, a lot of strengths and, and, and some unique, uh, you know, personnel packages. I mean, we have, a lot, we have a deep running back group. We, we have, I think, a talented young receiving core. I think what he does allows our tight ends to get a little more involved. And I mean, when you look at our, our quarterback situation, I think, you know, more healthy quarterback, we're as good as there is. So um, he's got some great ideas on that and, and a proven track record of doing things a lot of different ways and been successful. Given, given different leagues he's coached in, does, does he feel like a guy like that can adjust to any situation he's in? Fact, it certainly helps me. Experience always helps. I think, yeah, I mean, you know, Matt's, Matt's called it several different leagues at the highest level and been successful. So um, those are always good things. I mean, you know, when you're an experienced guy, you have battle scars. You know, you, you, you've learned, and maybe sometimes when an idea comes up, you can draw back and say, you know what? That sounds good, but I've tried that before, and this is the reason why it wasn't so great or why it was really good. And, uh, so that, that's where experience helps, and he certainly has that. And as we all know, time is money. That's where our fully managed approach to IT can help. With proactive remote monitoring and management, we're able to keep tabs on your IT infrastructure 24-7, 365 days a year. And when a problem does arise, our technical experts can quickly resolve it, in many cases before you're even aware that there was a problem at all. For an affordable fee, we'll provide the monitoring, technical support, and full problem resolution you need to stay productive. Want to learn more? Drop us a line today to see exactly how we can help keep your systems running smoothly and keep you focused on what matters most, growing your business. To follow up, in terms of his, early in his career, I think the first 17 years or something, he was in three places, and then the last four or three years he's been in three places. Was there any concern on your part why you jumped as quickly as you did from place to place? No, um, I mean, I do a thorough background on all guys coming in, and, and I know a lot of people I feel very strongly about that they, they have the relationship to Matt as well. And, um, no, not a concern at all. I mean, sometimes in our profession, things happen that are, that are totally out of your control. You know, that, that's the. To, to just mark it that way on someone is, is not fair unless you know the whole, the whole scenario and situation. I can tell you this, we're, we're certainly glad to have him. I, I think we're very fortunate in the program to have Matt as our coordinator. Does he impact either of Yeah, you know, Chuck's tremendous. I mean, just about as good as a football coach as you can find, an even better person. And, and I really mean that. I've worked with Chuck before. He's already made an impact on our guys. He's got a great way with the players. Um, we talk about, about battle scars and experience. He's, he's got all, he's, he's been there. Done. And, um, just, just, I think he and I work together really well in the way he thinks and sees things. Uh, he's just been, been a great guy to have in the room and help us clean some stuff up. we got to get better on that side of the ball. What have you seen as a kid so far? Uh, yeah, I, you know, high expectations for Byron. I mean, he has high expectations for himself. Uh, I've known Byron for a long time, but he's a you know, sophomore, junior in high school. Um, he, he, Byron's a, he, he, he's an adult. He's a, he's a grown man, maturity-wise as well as well as build and when you see him. But um, he handles his business well. And I, I think the, the experience he went through will only help him. He's a great perspective on things, and I think. Um, a really good understanding of where he's at. He, he's, he's very hungry. He's working really hard. So I, I think he's going to be a, be a tremendous uh, player for us after a year. 
terms of do you have the two quarterbacks sitting out, obviously Max played a lot last year. Can you go into the spring, the idea of running the offense as you would for anybody next season with this is building toward that, or will you try to strengthen you know, what, Matt, you know, what, what Max does? Well, a little bit of both. I mean, we're, we're certainly going to install our offense for what, what we believe we're going to be. We, I think, you know, we got to be able to do that. And it's not spring is about development. And, you know, we're, not, we're not trying to go win a game today. We're trying to get ready to go win them in you know, September, October, November. And so, um, you know, it, it'll be a combination of that. Obviously, every one of those quarterbacks had different strengths. And we're certainly going to help Max and, and, and Tyler to sue the freshman coming here. He's going to be getting a bunch of reps. We're going to try and put them in the best position possible. We, we got to develop the whole offense as well. Coach, talking about um, uh, just losing a guy like DJ Moore, um, obviously not replaceable, but what, what, how do you go about kind of finding who that new number one guy is and, and kind of working through that in the spring? Yeah, how about uh, DJ went, went ran well at the combine, and, and I'm so so proud of him. And uh, you know, I, all he did was, was was help himself there. So we're excited for him. He obviously had a tremendous player for us, and uh, you know. I don't know how do you replace a guy like that. Yeah, I don't know. You know what, what I do know is the way we set up our practices are very competitive. You guys don't have the opportunity to go do that. So you know, you take a guy like Tavon Jacobs, who I think just got better and better every week as the season went on. You know, that, that's obviously that he, he's, he wants to lay claim to being that guy. I mean, he'll have every right to do that. And there's a lot of you know DJ Turner and Jarvis Davenport, and then you talk about all the. The, the freshmen and incoming freshmen, we have some talented guys. It's going to be, you know, go out there and go do it, put it on, put it on the field. What is Rashad? Rashad is, uh, he, he's been, he's been tremendous for us. I think Rashad is a guy that, that I, I, he'll be helping us to be playing. He, he can help on either side of the ball. I really, I really feel that way. He's got a, he's got a great competitiveness about him. He's just got a, he's got a way about him. You know, he, um, the place he came from before. He went out there and played as a true freshman and, and contributed. And that just tells you that the type of person he is. Just, Competitive nature about him, and so um, you know he, he's playing a receiver right now, but he may play some defense as well. He'll be out there helping us somewhere. Coach, you um, first couple of years you played a lot of freshmen. First year especially you played a lot of freshmen. To a lesser extent last year, but for a lot of young guys. With some of the transfers, um, has the philosophy changed? Do you feel like you, you have a more experienced team, you need a more experienced team to, to have success in the Big Ten? Oh, no, the philosophy hasn't changed. It, it's it's the philosophy is always play the best guys we have available. And some of those decisions are made with big picture in mind. So we're we're, we're all, obviously we're trying to build this program for the long haul and, and be a, be a contender every year. And so you know some of the reasons that we, we held guys back last year is because because of where we are numbers wise. And, and we've come in and trying to overhaul a roster right now. So um, I, I like where we're at. And, but we'll still if, if a true freshman proves to be a guy that can help us go in, he, he, we're going to play him. And, you know, if not, then we'll keep developing them until he's able to do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, Trey is, 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 is what we thought we would get in terms of veteran guys. So when you take a guy that has played that many snaps in the Big Ten, he, you know, he handles himself a certain way. And uh, he, he's, you know, been a leader in his own way. Obviously, coming into a new situation, that's a little difficult on a guy. But um, he's worked hard, been a leader. So, I'm looking forward to seeing him out here on the field, and, and uh, we're expecting the trade to be obviously be a big contributor. That's why we brought him in. Any position changes or experiments? Um, I'm sure there will be as we go. I mean, not, nothing, nothing right now. But you know, as we go, we're always looking to see if we can move guys on, even if it's not to the opposite side of the ball, just we can maybe on the same side, but somewhere different. Time for two more. Good. Can, Go ahead. can you talk about the opportunity that Jordan McNair, Marcus Miner? Uh, and Hunt are going to have stepping in, and does that help or hurt that the usual starters are out this spring? Well, yeah, I mean, th those guys, uh, you know, it helps them for sure. I mean, they're going to get a lot more reps, you know, and they're, they're, they're really good football players, and they're, they're talented. I, I love our depth on the offensive line. I really do. Like, I think we've got, we're much closer to where, where you'd want that to be now, depth wise, at the line of scrimmage. So mm -hmm. um, there'll be good competition. I, I think. Competition is the, the greatest motivator there is, and so at that position, for sure, we'll have that. And is there a place for Johnny Jordan? Is Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Johnny would be right in the thick of that. I mean, you don't find a more competitive guy than, than Johnny. He's He's been tremendous with our team. He's a, he's a leader, and uh, so he'll certainly be, be in the mix. Is Damon healthy? Or, I, I know you mentioned that he's all right. Yeah, Damon, Damon um, he'll be out there. He'll practice, and he's, he's doing well. Thank you, Coach. You good? All right, guys, thanks.